I define what pretty is based on what guys like. I think that all girls, no matter what they say about their body, deep inside everyone thinks that they have something wrong with them. I mean, there was definitely a time when I think I stressed out about it more and I sort of like was trying to lose weight but I didn't really know how right. and so that like made me kind of sad for that. Um, I think that people tend to focus on their flaws. A lot shorter than I think I am. It's <laughs> <laughs> my general reaction whenever I look in the mirror. Like, I always look at my legs for some reason. Mm -hmm. One, I think I'm taller than I am, and then my legs are always like shorter and like stubbier than I think they are. Mm -hmm. I noticed that my hair had gone flat on this side, <laughs> and that my part wasn't straight. I noticed the flaws in my skin. I first notice my stomach and my thighs because I really don't like them and I think they stick out a bit. I notice that I don't have a thigh gap like some girls do and I notice I have broad shoulders. Um, eyes? They're brown and I don't really care for the color. I wish they were green. Yeah, every time I look in a mirror I feel bad. Every time. I'm, I'm definitely not comfortable with the way I look. You know, every time I walk past a mirror, I'm always overanalyzing myself, and I can never walk past a mirror without really hating my body in one way or another. It's... Um, my button nose. I like my button nose. It's like different. Uh, my hair was a little bit like disheveled. wasn't really together. Um, yeah, not a big fan of shorts in general, but you know. Okay, I saw how wide my hips were. That I've always seen myself as kind of stocky and short and wide. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say is I like have kind of a large nose, I think, but like I've just kind of accepted it and like learned to like be okay with it. Like I'm in shorts, so obviously like I can see all of my legs, mm -hmm. and they're not like the stereotypical like skinny thigh gap or anything like that. Um, my man shoulders and my stomach. Kate's eyes. Kate has like beautiful blue eyes and they're so friendly and happy and they're just, they're the first thing that I notice when I So like, she's so kind to as many people as possible and that's how she is and then like, she's beautiful and she's so accomplished. <laughs> Personality wise, I mean, she she's like exudes confidence. I mean, they say confidence is sexy and it definitely works for her, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Nicole has a really nice body. <laughs> she's very toned. <laughs> yeah, she's just sweet, caring. She's just beautiful inside and out. Um, I'm gonna miss her. I think Stella's very warm and she has really big blue eyes that are really bright. Um, she has really good skin. Like, really nice, um, fair skin. Um, she has a cute smile. It's like, she just seems happy and fun. She is so talented, and I just think she like is such a gorgeous person. She's so like playful and goofy, and I just love that about her. And her smile and her laugh, yeah, it was contagious, and it made me want to laugh as well. Her hair, um, I really love her hair. I'm an athlete, so I um, really notice. Kelly's leg like muscles. Go out to lunch during the day and like she'll be in her car wearing her sunglasses, listening to music and all. We are really good at talking about things that um, you wouldn't think you could talk about for like an hour. We can talk about it for like an hour and somehow not really be bored. Um, she has a smile that can light up the room and I love her laugh. Her laugh is so funny and she's got beautiful big brown eyes. I think the thing that I love most about Alana is that she's constantly happy. Like she's always the happy energy in the room. I mean, definitely it's affected me. I'm a teenage girl, and you feel this pressure to be thin. That's one thing that I will look at those girls, and I want those long legs, but that's just not something that I will ever be able to have because that's not what I was born with. Yeah. You know, and I mean, now I know that it's not all true, you know, but it still affects everybody, even if they don't want it to. It's comparing yourself to that thin ideal, and if you don't look like that, then you aren't beautiful, and then there you go. There goes your self-esteem. <laughs> if I feel skinny that day, then that's a good day. And if 
I don't, that completely ruins my mood for the whole day. You know, I'm not one of those people that's like, oh my god, I have to be skinny. And of course, like, it's nice to be, have like a toned body or something, but the skinny isn't a big deal for me. I feel like, like when I was younger, people was like, oh, you're so like small and like, cute. But, like I grew up and I was like supposed to still be like small and cute, but now I'm like an average person. Like, um, I think it's kind of told me that I need to look like this, like in very inexplicit ways of just, you know, I see this and I instantly compare it to the parts of my body I'm most self-conscious about. I'm like, oh, well, like, you know, her stomach is this flat, so obviously that's what good is. And I feel like not even just me, but like all of us have the feeling that we have to present ourselves in that way. I mean, like, it definitely has affected me in the past where I'll like compare myself to magazine ads. I definitely feel like in order to be found attractive by a guy or um, in order to like fit in with a group of girls, but you either have to look a certain way or you have to be skinny. And like, I honestly don't know how you're supposed to feel better about your body when there's so much emphasis on looking um, looking a certain way. For me, it's much more of a motivator than something that brings me down. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not something that I look at and expect myself to look like that, but it's something that like I believe in taking care of your body. And so when I was, especially when I was younger, I used to have people be like, "Oh my God, are you anorexic?" And I was like, "No." And then like middle school hit, and I was like, "Well, maybe I should be." And it wasn't because I wanted to be skinny necessarily, like I knew that I was skinny. It's just people like expected it of me. It has made me think that everyone needs to be that thin and that kind of like long legged. I feel like, I mean, it's like crazy cause like in history you always like thought of the like fat person, you know, as like the wealthy and that like was a sign of beauty back then. And like now you have this skinny girl and like if you're not, perfectly skinny then like even if you're not overweight or like just on the verge then you're not as pretty. I swim so I'm in a swimsuit pretty much every day and so I see my body just how it is every, pretty much every day and uh, it's definitely made me want to eat less. I've definitely been put down by it for sure. It's just frustrating because I feel like society presents the, that, the thin woman as like what you have to be, but it's definitely not what you have to be. Smiling, you know, I think it's Audrey Hepburn that says like, happy girls are the prettiest, and I think that's true, I really do. You have to feel good, like physically good. Like, and that we're not all perfect. We all want to be this person, yet it's not like, they're all photoshopped, like it's not an actual person. It's not always the biggest deal that you think it is, the things that you notice, because other people, it might even be the thing they like about you. People who care about what you look like aren't gonna matter, and they don't matter, and they definitely won't in once you're out of high school. I don't think body image should be a problem, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's unfortunate that our society has made it become a problem. Don't try not to let it control how you think of yourself and if you if you are confident it will come off to other people, it will show to other people and you will shine. I wish I had this on her, I wish I had that. Like we all look at each other wanting what the other person has when everyone should know that they're beautiful in their own way. Because confidence is what makes you really pretty. When you see those thin those super thin models and girls, you have to remind yourself that it's their job to look that way almost. That your true beauty isn't gonna come from how you look or a thigh gap. It's gonna come from your personality, it's gonna come from the confidence that you hold, it's gonna come from the love that you show to the world. That it doesn't matter what other people think. It's most important for you to be comfortable with yourself and if that means you need to put on weight or lose weight then you should do it but like make sure you're doing it for yourself and not for anyone else. And if you think somebody's pretty, tell them. But I just say be confident and try not to worry about what other people look like and don't compare yourself to other girls. Like don't 
be afraid and don't like sit there and be detrimental to yourself in any way just because you don't feel beautiful because someone else is going to see that beauty if you let them but if you're like hiding it and not allowing yourself to show it because you're afraid that all somebody is going to see is the outside then you're not going to be able to show that beauty which truthfully everyone deserves to see.